what we know is that two of these senior officials who really uh, led the vaccines unit within FDA have announced their retirements planned for late October and early November. Those are Dr. Marion Gruber and Dr. Phil Kraus from the Office of Vaccines Research and Review. Uh, now, this was first reported by the industry publication BioCentury. We've confirmed this with the FDA. Uh, Lou Borio, the former FDA acting uh, chief scientist, uh, putting this into perspective on Twitter today, calling them two giants who helped bring us safe and effective vaccines over decades of public service. Now, some questions in the reporting here today and things that I've been hearing myself around whether they stepped down in part because they felt frustrated that the FDA was getting front run on the booster decision by the White House and to some extent the CDC as well. I posed this question to the White House on its COVID briefing today. Here's what Jeff Zients told us. The FDA is the gold standard, and we are all grateful for the tireless work of the senior team and the whole staff at FDA, especially during the pandemic. The FDA has strong leadership in Dr. Woodcock and Dr. Peter Marks at the Center for Biologics Evaluation and Research. And that leadership coming out with memos today, trying to assure FDA staff and the public as they're sharing these memos publicly that they have plans in place to keep these reviews going as quickly as possible. And, of course, to maintain the trust in the agency. Dr. Janet Woodcock, the acting FDA commissioner, just out with a memo tonight to staff saying, in part, we've put together a plan that allows us to continue prioritizing science while meeting timelines that are important to ensuring the end of this devastating pandemic. Uh, so, Brian, there is concern that the departure of these two officials could lead to delays or to concerns about a shakeup at FDA while it still has so much on its plate. Back to you. I have one there 32 years at the FDA. Certainly unexpected. Meg Terrell, a big story on vaccinations. Thank you.